Hi, I want, to show, I want to show you a project that I did with my daughter a long time ago when she was nine years old. This is it. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Well, it's a, a scarecrow. It's a picture of a scarecrow. Um, it's stuck onto a piece of card and there's a little circuit on the back. She did this one in school, so it's not very complicated. There's a filament bulb pushed through the card in the scarecrow's mouth and there's a little switch here made up of uh, a couple of brass split pin fasteners and a bit of tin foil on the on the uh, other side and when you press the flap down the light comes on <laughs> she thought it was great in fact she thought it was so great that we had to do another one when she came home so this is it it's a lighthouse this time, um, a bit more appropriate I thought because it's really obvious where you put the light. You put it at the top where lighthouses have lights. It's the same uh, arrangement at the back with a battery, um, a lamp. Instead of using a filament uh, bulb this time we used an LED and a resistor. I did cheat a little bit by changing the LED um, when I got it out of the loft because the one we used all those years ago um, was very, 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 very dim. Certainly not up to today's standards of high intensity LEDs. Anyway, we didn't have any split pins, um, so we used a couple of drawing pins and I soldered the connections onto the back. To make the connection, we use a bulldog clip over there like that and the LED comes on. I hope you can see that. Lamp on, lamp off. Lamp on, lamp off. Lamp on, lamp off. My daughter th thought this was great when she was nine, year old, nine years old and if you think that your children um, would enjoy it you can find all the details of how to build that on, on the website at home DIY electronics .com. Thanks for listening.